think Kyrie, um, you know, a lot of stuff that's obviously happened in the world the last couple of years. Uh, has anything that's gone on any, uh, made you change your commitment to basketball at all to minimize the importance of it? It's just a separation between what's going on here, um, you know, when I'm playing professionally and what's going on out in the world. And if you don't create that distinction, then it's easy to feel the weight of the world um, while you're going out there and playing. So, you know, I would be lying sitting here and saying I don't feel what's going on in the world and nor am I paying attention to it. Um, you know, I just have a huge responsibility, I feel, to continue to serve my community and the underserved. And, you know, when I'm out here playing, it's continuing to leave knowledge with these guys and, and commit to something, like I always say, bigger than ourselves. You know, this, this, this team environment here um, or just in basketball in general, it takes sacrifice and compromise, you know, and we got to come to an agreement and just stay in balance throughout this long journey. So that's all, that's all I'm trying to do. Ian Begley, SNY. Hey, Kyrie, I know, you know, you said that why you were out was a personal matter and you're just leaving it at that, but I'm just curious, like, for the, the net fan out there who, you know, living and dying with you guys and wasn't sure why we were not playing and was frustrated by that you know would you have any explanation to that those fans that we have well the, the beautiful thing about that is that I started off as a fanatic and I started off as a fan I've been invested in this organization since I was a kid you know and also now that I'm in this role as a player there is quite a difference and, you know, the fans out there want to apologize to them as well. You know, my commitment has always been to bring in something special to Brooklyn. You know, it wasn't just a championship. It was unity, it was equality. It was just bigger things than just the game itself. You know, it took quite a while and quite a few um, valleys to get back home initially. You know, um, so for, for me, I'm just taking every day, you know, just being grateful, you know, um, but for the casual or the fanatic, you know, it's it's part of our culture. And, you know, I'm back. I'm happy to be back. And we got some great pieces and we just move on. And I let my actions and my game speak for itself like I planned on doing, you know, just needed a pause.